Yo, what up everyone? This is Fire Ants Blazing and I am just gonna play uh Elder Scrolls for like about thirty minutes and tell you my first impressions on it and if this game is worth buying. <clears throat> um so far to me this game looks like Skyrim. Um it kinda does. But Bethusa uh made this. So, you know, you never know. So, um, basically, it's kind of like Fallout. So, if you just, if you look around, like, there'd be characters and stuff, uh, dying and stuff, that looks like to me. Um, also, um, this game was free to play. Um, yeah, this game was free to play, like, like, not even a day ago. It was free to play, like, on Saturday and Sunday. Oh shit. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Oh, Lyris. Who the hell? Alright, so this So this game be attacking. Keep moving. Oh, so the attack is RT. Uh, that's how you attack. Let's keep moving. <laughs> So we get into it. Um, I think there's the energy bar right here. Um, energy meter. Let's go. I think it, I think it stops, when, stops it when you attack and everything. But yeah, I'm just going to play this as long as I can. You know, to give it a little a bit of impression on it. I got to play it long enough so I can get an impression. RT to block a heavy attack. RT for charge. Hold it down. Damn. Fucked her ass up. But if y'all want to see more gameplays like this. I'll get this game and play it, okay? Yeah, I'll buy this game and play it and do a whole playthrough. But um but yeah, if y'all if y'all uh got some um, got some suggestions about that, uh let me know in the description below. And um and this is a good um change up from um all the other games I used to play. Prophet. He's a I don't know. Once we he's a strange one. We should keep moving. So So I'm guessing they letting us go through here. Nice. It's picking up worms and shit. See, the best thing about Xbox right now is that over the weekend they picking games. We picking games that we can um, play um, over the weekend to try them out and see how they is. And at least they're doing that, you know. Okay, the skill system. Um, my first impression on this, um, it looks pretty simple. And uh, health, uh, you can increase your health with a skill point or you can uh, actually level up your stamina. What I will do um, for my strategy, 
if I had this game um, completely, I will work on my stamina because you will need that. I'm guessing you're going to need that stamina all the way through. Because stamina um, is a very important part in these type of games right here because if you can't do no more than five attacks, man, your ass is screwed. Your ass is grass. I don't give a damn if you got a lot of help. I can care less if you got that. But you can work on your health and stamina. That's what I will work on um, for for the uh, first half of the game. Health and stamina. That's what I will work on. Like every other level, I'll just work on stamina and health. And also, um, this game could get pretty addictive. Um, if you miss your work, if you miss going to work, um, don't play this game. Um, if you if you miss your job, trying to trying to find a job and trying to work, <laughs> because this game will have you up here. <laughs> you be up here for about. Uh, three to four days before you realize like oh my god time just flew by like like wow you know no I found a chest iron deck okay Feral soul. Yeah. So a feral soul throws up on you, I'm guessing. The sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will also be blinded for a time. Okay, so your map. Um, my first impression on the map is kind of like um, Fallout 4 or Fallout New Vegas. Um, very self explanatory. So I'm guessing. Um, go out this way. Okay, so. Um, uh, I don't know what to do here, so I'm just gonna run this way. All right, so I came from this way. I already knew I came from this way, so sometimes um, navigating is kind of difficult. Uh, Downside. I haven't been this way, so. Okay, what bothers me about this? Why in the hell? They got enemies standing. They got people standing right beside the enemies and not even going to try to attack. They're not even going to try to attack or nothing. They're just going to stand there and look. Okay. So, Elder Scrolls. The graphics look amazing. Um, the game is like Skyrim base, and it's it's from made by Bet Bet Bethesda. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? Oh uh, shit! Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the prophet's cell. Oh. That's a drop, man. <laughs> no, 
Holy psycho. Alright. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's go up these stairs and see what happens. Nope. Now, nah, where you going? Where the hell are you going? <laughs> Yeah, the downside to this is um, you can get lost immediately. Like, as soon as you get up in this bitch. Puppet's enclosure isn't far. Let's go. So I'm just running around killing, killing enemies because so far I'm just trying to uh, find something, something to do, you know, so I can um, get some more first impressions on it. But so far it is very like when you first start this game, you ain't never played an Elder Scrolls game before. Um, you cannot um, find your way out of here, so. See, since I found out how to do this shit. There you go. You will never escape my realm. Hermamora's whacking tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the sentinel. Alright, so we can talk to Cadwell. One fine day in the middle I don't know who Cadwell is. Two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other. Oh dear. <coughs> Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch, follow the river. Best of luck. Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish tosh gun. Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven, of those who didn't go feral. Ah, Lyris, girls as mad as sheer gorus jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got an imperial gentleman. I hadn't actually given him oh much thought. Uh, oh my god. It's the only thing about these RPGs. Oh my god, dude. Damn, shit. Hell. Oh, okay. Oh, enter the underloft, so um, I don't know what the hell that is. Alright, so I'll just go get that. Find that. But yeah, just remember, once you get used to the navigation uh, with this uh, one bar map type deal. Um, the sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here.
Okay, um... <laughs> scrolling, hacking doors. Oh! Okay, um, people over here, um, Adam is a friend, um, I'm guessing I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, this video should be about, uh, about 30, this is gonna be a 30 minute video playthrough because my first 30 minutes playing this, I wanna try it. But remember guys, this is not a playthrough, I'm just playing the game. And after the 30 minute period, I'm just going to give you my opinions on the game. Uh, <clears throat> not many too many people are going to do this. And the combat system. Uh, right here, I'm going to talk about the combat system. <clears throat> so, so, I'm in here with the combat system. Um, I haven't played a game long enough. Um, Hits and the hits are kind of repetitive. I kind of wish they had like combo systems. If they had like a combo system like this or something like that, man, that would be amazing. Instead of trying to um, do one hit and then you got to wait for a hit and then charge up. So you see what I'm talking about? That's all they got. Left, right, left, right. I mean, they could have like, uh, like a left, right, up, down type hit or something. Yeah, you know, to put some uh, excitement to it, into the uh, attack part. Guts. Ugh. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, can't hit them. Uh, don't hit that. That run into that blue flame. That blue flame, as they call it. What the hell? The prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. and the prophet looks unharmed now the bad news it's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel there's a trick believe me I will. once it's done all right come on I'm ready when you are Alright, so I got defend. Okay, so. Alright. Be your ass, huh? You ain't got no range, bitch. Oh, knock your ass down, boy. Bring that ass here, son. Okay, so when they charge up, um, there's like a red um, indicator showing showing that where they're gonna attack at, so. I'm guessing, um, Oh, well, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, so, dark pinion. Wait for the exchange. the divines you are safe there is that at least they have sacrificed huh. everything that we might go free her sacrifice must not be in vain i wish that were possible but i promise you once we escape cold heart that is the name i have given you 
You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel. But that is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken <coughs> their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. All right, so oh, I still got to talk to him. Thank the divines, you must wish. Up the stairs quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go up here. So I think these are the stairs that he's talking about. Okay, so it feels like I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am. See, once you get used to the uh, navigation, it's straight. And, um, hey, there I got nine minutes of recording left, guys. I'm just showing y'all what Elder Scrolls look like, you know. And... Woo! Look at that bitch! That's a big motherfucker! When he's cold training in it. Soon your world will be in my chain. Uh, I don't know what to do. Come, I will protect you. Please protect me. I don't know what. Oh my God, this bitch ass, this big ass motherfucker, looking like bones and shit, moving all slow. Look at that, I'm whooping his ass. Get your ass out of here, ho. Get the fuck out of here. Break free, bitch. Oh, kick your ass, nigga. Kick your ass. This is how you beat his ass. Just move around the circle. Beat the shit out of him. Can't do shit. Look at him. Shook his ass off. Man, fuck that shit, man. Get your ass down, nigga. Beat that ass. Beat your ass. You ain't getting shit. My microphone's fucked up, and I don't give a damn. Alright. Okay, so, uh, uh, where I, where the fuck I need to go? Alright, um, taking a guess, so, go up here. Nope. But yeah, the combat system is too damn basic for me. I'm used to like uh, games like uh, Dragon Age Inquisition or games like uh, that. Some. Oh shit. The dark anchor. All right. So after every mission, you have to talk to you have to talk to your to your partner. That you messing with on this game. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. To the team, quickly. Mission. Collect the sky shard. Alright, so I collected the sky shard. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Val be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Damn. Okay. Um got six minutes left um, for this game stream um, what I'm doing my first impressions on this just remember first impressions and um, if you want to see more games like this um, be sure to uh, be sure to let me know in the comments the but, vestige awakens once again come here we must speak let's talk to him right quick days I cannot foresee that not yet but we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. 
Be wary. You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. But remember, guys, um, this game was free to play. To lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. Indeed. Indeed. You were dragged ashore. And bam. Um... Uh, tingle tonsil tonic. Whatever the hell that shit was. <clears throat> but guys, um, this and this game has been kind of fun. Um, I hope you enjoy buying the game, you know, because I just played this game just to try it out um, for the Xbox Live. This was free to play. For the uh, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I actually tested it out, and so far it's a good game. The game is um, the game is sixty nine ninety nine or fifty nine ninety nine. If you get the uh, the uh, ultimate edition or whatever edition that is, this game look okay. Um, hope to see y'all next time in my next video. But um, be sure to check out my other videos, my Call of Duty videos. I think I did a montage earlier, and I did a I did a unboxing of the um, the A the AG version of the uh, Plantonics. I mean, not Plantonics, but the Afterglow headset. 